Hi, my name is Anton and I'm computer vision expert. And this video will be about new YOLO v6 relies, uh, not from the side of neural network design and uh, its accuracy, but from the side of the whole project architecture. How good it will be in production, how ready is it, and uh, what problem you will meet when you start work with it. Today is uh, June 28, uh, 2022, and uh, this video uh, may not make sense uh, in three or six months. If the YOLO v6 will develop, um, for example, same thing happens to YOLO v5. At the start, it was not very good, but a year later, it became one of the most massive uh, network. Okay, let's start. Of course, the first thing we need to look is the accuracy, but it's hard to make good comparison. Yes, YOLO v6 is more accurate on COCO with uh, comparable performance networks. But according uh, to the video that I found, uh, everything is not so clear. Uh, there is a feeling uh, that uh, YOLO v5 uh, uh, w uh, with comparable speed is a bit more stable, but of course you need to check this on your data set. It's also impossible yet to say how much uh, accuracy will preserved when you will train on different uh, data sets, uh, different than COCO data set. Uh, we have a lot of stories when YOLO v5 work better on small, small data set uh, better than YOLO B4 or YOLO X. Uh, but uh, such thing you can understood only on the long run. Uh, so let's switch to the production problems and how they look like. The first problem is conversion. Uh, YOLO B5 uh, converts to all major inference system. YOLO v6 is only officially converted to ONNX and OpenVINA. Uh, I checked several standard uh, opinion for further conversion. Uh, ONNX uh, translated to um, TensorFlow but not converted to TensorFlow Lite. Uh, it uh, doesn't uh, convert to Tangent or an CNN framework. Uh, you can't even convert to CoreML uh, because of some problems. Uh, but uh, and to create stable conversion system, you will need a lot of work. The second problem is the lack of documentation. Look at the documentation in YOLO v5. Uh, training documentation and also this look at the training documentation in YOLO v4 uh, there is a lot of documentation uh, of course uh, mm, for the most part everything is clear and you will not read this documentation and just find uh, most interesting part uh, but when I saw uh, training documentation for uh, YOLO v6, uh, I was a bit sad because uh, of course you will have some problem with training and uh, the documentation is pretty small and uh, it will not cover some corner cases. The third problem is the lack of community. There are always problems and it's better if someone has already solved them. Uh, and uh, if the problems are solved not only by the author of the library. Uh, look at the number of open and closed issues in YOLO v5. Pretty big. And uh, here is uh, issues with YOLO v6. Of course, in half of the year or probably in year, uh, 
there will be probably same amount of issues but for now you just can't find does anyone already solve your problem or do you need to solve it yourself or uh, do you need to open new issues and wait for an answer fourth problem is the lack of working quantization or some pruning uh, and so on uh, and the authors uh, honestly acknowledge this problem uh, so let's not stop on this uh, fifth problem uh, is the lack of large models I don't think that it's a big problem because, of course, you can take uh, something very good working uh, like uh, scale Tiola V4 uh, or something like this, or even some transformer. Uh, but it's uh, always better when you have different uh, models in one framework to easy switch. Uh, you will have same training env environment, same uh, data, data, data loaders, and so on. Uh, okay, let's summarize. In my opinion, the current state of YOLO v6 is not uh, suitable for production. I really hope that the authors will develop the project and in half of a year uh, we will have uh, another a good working detector with uh, conversion to any framework with quantization and so on uh, but for now it doesn't look production ready uh, so I will watch and observe how, how it's going uh, thank you for the attention bye